Post-game highlights are brought to you by Farmburgessa. Stop by Farmburgessa in Vinton for delicious farm-to-table burgers, or check out their second location in Grandin Village. Three games, three days, three separate cities begins tonight at Berkland Center in Southwest Virginia as your Roanoke Rail Yard Dogs host the Macon Mayhem in this Thursday night tilt in the Southern Professional Hockey League. He throws it back in front. Jansen kicked it towards the paint. And finally on the rebound, he scores! Mac Jansen gets the scoring opened up just 40 seconds into the action. It's 1-0 Roanoke against Macon. DeVito, and now he's just gonna send Nigel Slade hard into the far side corner boards. Edder from distance, he shoots, rebound for Draplug scores. Mac Jansen in a lot of space. He's gonna fire and score! Short-handed goal for Mac Jansen. He's got two already in the first period, and Roanoke scores on the penalty kill. It's two to one with 12-10 remaining in the first period. In the making zone, now played to the freshly on Matt O'Day, and he snipes it through! Three to one, Rail Yard Dogs. Matt O'Day extends the lead with 6.23 to go in the first period from just inside of the high left wing circle. So Roanoke will start this second period with a minute 45 seconds left on a five on four power play. They lead three to one at the end of 20 minutes. Both teams exiting the locker rooms, taking the ice once again in the second period of play on Thursday night. In the Star City, the Roanoke Rail Yard Dogs out to an early 3-1 lead over visiting Macon. Now DeVito, right wing circle, played it back through the middle of the circles to Jansen. O'Day will shoot, he scores! Two goals for Matt O'Day, and it's 4-1 Roanoke. A power play goal at 18-28 left in the second period as they pick up right where they left off in the opening 20 minutes. Nidadol and Slade, Nidadol, a big right hand over the top. Helmet is off of Slade. Nidadol has Slade wrapped up. We haven't even seen Slade get a punch off and Slade cowers down to the ice. That was a business decision from Nigel Slade. I don't think he wanted anything to do with Josh Nidadol that time around. Macon has the puck, quick turnover. It's snagged by Hebner who scores. A goal out of nothing. Hebner picked the pocket of the Macon defenseman and spun around in the blink of an eye on Stiliadis, and it's five to one with 17.07 to go in the second period. Now Stubbs picks up the puck, left wing circle, he shoots, CJ Stubbs gets in on the action. Six to one with 11.37 left in the second period. It's a goal party in Rono. Shot to flex back out in front, rebound scored. CJ Stubbs, two goals, and just a matter of moments. It's seven to one, Roanoke over Macon with 10.07 left to go in the second period. Bizzo catches the rebound out of the air, shoots and scores. Buck got deflected high up into the air, right in front of Hussey's net. And Billy Vizzo snags it down, drops it to the tape, and slides it by. It's eight to one with 6.59 to go in this second period. And a goal for Roanoke. I think Sherwood might get the credit on that one as Hussey just lost sight of it and just kind of skipped through. It's nine to one rail yard dogs with a period left to play. Yes, you heard me correctly. Yes, you are seeing your phone correctly. That is not a misprint. Rono jumping all over Macon through the first two periods of play.
and Cameron and Jesse Anderson are gonna drop the gloves. Anderson with a right hand on Cameron. And now a few left jabs. The rookie going after Caleb Cameron, the veteran. The helmet gone for Anderson. A few right-handed uppercuts from Cameron. How about Jesse Anderson? He got that left hand free and just went crazy. He got his left hand freed up. It was like he just discovered a new button in a video game. He just started hammering at it. Quick shot, Hepner. did he get it by? He did! Goal for Brady Hepner. his second of the night. Four different dogs have scored two goals, and it's 10 to one with 11.07 left in the third period. with a jaw-dropping scoreline tonight. Your final score, Roto 10, making one the Dogs with their largest margin of victory in franchise history. These were your post-game highlights brought to you by Farm Burgessa. Be sure to check out Farm Burgessa in Vinton for delicious farm-to-table burgers or stop by their second location in Grandin Village.